this is Anna Smakula for SimonSaysTM.com, and today I have a simple, no-coloring floral card to share, showcasing a gorgeous outline floral stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh. Here is a quick look at this beautiful Pansies Stamp Timber exclusive collaboration stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh and Simon Says Stamp. This stamp set, like many other floral stamp sets from Pretty Pink Posh, has several beautiful florals, floral clusters, and leaves. This is an outline set, so perfect to practice coloring. Now, what if you don't like to color? In this video, I'll show you a different way to use these images, add color to them, but skip coloring using traditional mediums altogether. When we think of coloring, we often overlook our color ink pads and only consider them for stamping solid images. But you can use your colored ink pads to add color to the outline images with the help of ink blending. You will not get beautiful coloring with lots of shading and detail, but this is still a great way and more importantly, an easy and quick way to add color to outline images. I'm starting by heat embossing all of the images from this stamp set on a piece of white cardstock and this is Nina Solar White 80 pound. I'm using my Mini Misty today to make it easier to stamp all of these at once and also to stamp multiples, as I'm not quite sure how many florals I will need for my today's card. I am stamping images in Versamark ink. This is clear sticky ink that is perfect for heat embossing. Next, I'm covering the panel with white embossing powder. At first, I used detailed white embossing powder from Hero Arts, but later I heat embossed another layer over the original layer in regular white embossing powder from Hero Arts, and that gave me a thicker, more visible white outline to my images. I heat embossed three panels in total because, like I said, I did not know how many I would need. I did end up having way too many images, but I saved them and stored them with my stamp set for future use. I'm going to cut my heat embossed images apart with scissors to be able to blend colors onto these. I will be using mini round ink blending tools and if I blend the color directly on the panel, I will risk adding one color to too many images and I don't want to do that. So this is why I'm cutting these apart. If you are to use mini daubers, for example, maybe you can skip cutting those apart and blend the color directly on the panels. No, I'm not fussy cutting them at this moment. I'm just cutting them apart to be able to blend color. I picked several colors of ink. I wanted to go with more of a fall color combination and I looked up fall planters on Pinterest and a lot of them had pansies in purple, black, orange, and yellow colors. I decided I didn't want to do black today, although it would be cool to have a black flower here and there, but I did pick up a few purple and yellow colors. I'm using green apple to add color to my leaves and this is what I'm talking about here. By using an ink blending tool and my ink pads, I'm able to add color very, very quickly to these images. Next, I'm using sunshine and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just blending the color onto these flowers, covering either the entire flower or just a part of it. Next, I'm using hot mama color. I love this purple color. And again, I'm light lightly blending it onto my image. Now with this ink blending, you can leave it as is, and that's what I'm doing here today, or you can spice it up by using colored pencils, for example, to add some pencil details to those images. Be sure to watch my video from yesterday to see how you can use colored pencils to add shading to your images. I'm also coming in with deep purple and blending a bit of this color on some of my images just to add a little bit of shading and color variation. And lastly, I'm adding a little bit of Visteria color also to introduce some shading on a few of those flowers and petals. Now back to yellow, I'm blending sunshine here onto all of the remaining images. I also have orange slush color and I'm adding it onto some of the petals, again, just to add some simple shading. Now these look pretty vibrant right now. Once the ink dries, these will become less intense and will look more natural in color. I'm going to use my scissors now and going to go ahead and cut all of these images out right up to the edge. These are not too detailed, so it's not hard to cut. Plus, I made sure to use thinner paper. This is, like I mentioned, 80 pound cardstock here, and I find it very, very easy to fussy cut this paper. This stamp set doesn't come with a sentiment, so I looked through my stash and came across this simple hello from the Blissful Butterfly stamp set, also from Pretty Big Posh, and I stamped it in black ink and cut out using a coordinating die. 
Next, I want to stamp some additional images onto my background just to fill it in a little bit. I'm using a berry branch image and also one more branch from the Autumn Blooms stamp set, and I'm stamping both of these in orange slush ink. Next, I foam mounted the flowers and leaves, creating floral clusters in the top left and bottom right corners of my panel. And this panel is cut to four by five and a quarter inches. Once that was done, I adhered it onto an A2 white card base, and now I'm just trimming my images that go outside the edge of the card. Finally, I'm going to use several sequins from the Hawaiian Sunset sequin mix from Simon Says Stamp to embellish this card. Here's a closer look at this project created using Pretty Pink Posh Stamp Temper exclusive collaboration stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This set is available for a limited time only, and once it sells out, it will be gone. So be sure to grab it if you like it. I hope you guys will give this idea a try. If you do make a card inspired by this video, we'd love it if you shared your project online and tagged us on social media. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye!